I need that money. I really, really do. I need that money. I, I really need that money. Really need that money. I need that money. I really, really do. I need that money. I, I really need that money. Really need that money. Really that money. That money. <clears throat> interactive stream you know tag me in the chat if you like to talk if contributions come in i will shout them out and give you credit on the stream on the leaderboard please support the stream tonight if you enjoy the content uh you know it would be great to get a nice solid and strong final stream of the week if possible thank you dr hobby yes tomorrow uh, my wife and i are going to go out and do quite a few things we've been talking about it today about what we're going to do so we're going to finally have a nice day and the good thing is tomorrow outside of having a grocery shop which we have to do every day off um we don't have any appointments we don't have to do any kind of restock trips we're not going to costco we're just going to go out and have some fun together which is nice more space uh first contribution of the night has come in let's take a look it's a dollar tip from kirk can you play helldivers three to four times a week it's epic shout out to arrowhead game studios for making its price point affordable at 40 bucks uh no i don't think it, that people want to see it that much I, I mean i like the game but I feel like if I played it that much, uh, basically people would be like, uh, it's overload already. I mean, I've only played Helldivers three times. I played it last Wednesday night for two hours as a surprise stream. That one was highly, highly attended and highly supported. Then I played it for an hour during my birthday marathon. And then I did a, a stream of it yesterday all on the day, day stream, three hours. Attendance was okay. The views after the fact are not very good. The, one of the videos barely has 300 views. And by the way, it was just an okay stream, meaning average support for a day stream. So already within two, essentially two sessions of it, the hype is already dead on the game, which I knew would happen because I'm not the kind of person who plays that style of game. So you don't have people really coming out to see me play. I, I knew that would happen. <laughs> okay, guys, I have to pee. <clears throat> so I am going to go pee. Now listen up. Please, tonight, if you like my content, please support the stream. Doesn't even matter if particularly you like this game. Please support the stream. This is my final stream of the week. Uh, it would be great to have it be a good one. Right now, I have $3, and they're all from Kirk. That's it. Literally nothing. No memberships, no gifted memberships, no super chats. Just $3 from Kirk. So, there's lots of you here. All right? It would be great if, if you like the content, if you could support it. I'm only doing... A few streams of this to wrap it up through the second half. We're almost done, actually. I think right now we're more than halfway through my first run. Whereas we get to chapter four, we're in the home stretch. So, and I think we're going to get to chapter four tonight, actually. So, uh, please support it. I'll be right back. I just got to use the bathroom. <sighs> Much better. Okay. Yeah, you know, I was thinking about it. I was like, you know, people, the whole time I played this game, were saying you should make it a night stream. Well, guess what? I made it a night stream. And to look at what's happened, right? This is why I didn't have this as a night stream. Because I try to bring in more viewership by having games like this be a day stream. This game would have probably been a dead playthrough. Uh, sadly, if uh, I played it as night streams. I knew that, too, from the get-go. Which is why I played the first run fully on the daytime shift. So, Alright, guys. Please support the stream if you can tonight. I'm not going to keep bringing it up. But, man, it would be great to get some more support. Thank you. Okay, we're going to head downstairs. And so I have a couple shout-outs to do. Hold on. We have a dollar tip that came in. From Kirk. Next eclipse is 2044. You and me might be dead via stress or nuclear apocalypse or something. I, I hope not. I hope to still be alive in 20 years. Thus, can't you find it in your heart to forgive me for saying the quiet part out loud like, like Vivek does? Uh, no. Thanks for the dollar tip. Oh, uh, I also received a nah, super I chat. Still be alive in twenty years. Thus, can't you find it in your heart to forgive me for saying the quiet part out loud like like Vivek does? Uh, no, thanks for the dollar tip. <laughs> uh, uh, I also received a super chat. First super chat of the night, uh, from Big Boss. When you were deciding to make the documentary, were there any preliminary questions that got you to remember being good, interesting, or new? See, here's the thing. Like, there's nothing that I'm going to say or do that I think would be super interesting. It's more about the angle. And essentially, this documentary that was going to be made about me... I already said all this publicly, by the way. This is no new information. But the, the documentary 
was going to attack it from the angle of, well, here's everything everyone says about Phil. Here's all the reasons people hate Phil, right? But in reality, are any of these even that bad? Even if they all were true, all right? Let's assume everything's true that everyone ever said about Phil. Is any of it really that bad that people should really be like hating him so much and, and wishing him harm and doing the things they've done to his him and his family members and all of that, right? And, and, you know, going through all of that, saying, look at all this stuff that happened to Phil and analyzing it in that perspective. Like, what's really going on that people hate Phil so much? Like, what is the reason? And it was going to it was going to basically look at it from like that perspective, um, which would have been a new one because most people have never attacked it. It's just, oh, here's all the things people hate Phil for. Are they true or not? Instead of, well, you know what, whether or not they're true or not, maybe it doesn't even matter. Right. Perhaps people should just stop being fucking insane about all this bullshit. Even if it was true, who cares? None of it matters when it comes to him or his content or anything. You know what I'm saying? And there's gonna be many parts to the documentary that, that were gonna be unique and different, and I'm not gonna spoil those because who knows, right? I'm not gonna spoil all the ideas we had because we had many different ideas of ways we could attack things and, and funny entertaining segments and things regarding the various different things that, were, that I'm accused of and shit like that, okay? But, in essence, I think that, that that's the truth of the matter, is that the things that people accuse me of, or are so angry about, aren't actually that bad. Even if they were all true, which, by the way, I've told you guys many times they're not, right? But even if you don't believe me, and you think that everything that's ever been said about me is true, it's not nearly as bad as half the people out there, right? It's like, why, damn, why do people hate Phil so much? Like, what exactly is going on that they, people hate him so much? Doesn't seem to make much sense. In which case, that's correct. It doesn't. It's just basically people going crazy, over-obsessing, or running with a meme to hate me. Rather than it being about, wow, I really hate this guy because he did awful things that are deserving of this level of awful hate. You know, it's, it's a very different situation. Like... Some of the other people out there that are considered lol cows or, or, or people get harassed all the time on the internet, man, some of the things they've said and did is like, wow, unforgivable, can't believe it. And I mean, it's like, really, that's all Phil ever said? That's it? That's the reason people hate him? But again, it's, I feel like it's just the meme. The meme is overpowering. To the point where, like, you can't stop the meme. The meme has become bigger than the truth, right? Like, honestly, really, let's say, for example, you look at all the things said about me that I used to be a racist and say horrible things in my commentary, which I don't anymore, but I used to, let's even say I used to be a racist, which I wasn't, but let's say it was true. Let's say I spent ridiculous amounts of money on mobile games and didn't tell anyone, right? Let's say, what's, what's the other ridiculous one? Because there's like three or four big ones, right? Let's say they're all true, every single one of them. Are any of those a big deal? <laughs> right? In reality, it's funny because you have people who've done entire documentaries about me, like Turkey Tom. And literally at the end of the negative documentary he makes, he says, but Phil, I don't even get it because Phil's kind of boring. I don't get the big deal. He's right. Like, he's literally 100% right. There's nothing super interesting about the hate against me besides that it exists. I think more fascinating than whether the hate is, is, is warranted or real would be why are people so obsessed with me, right? Like, what has caused this level of obsession, right? That's what I, I would love to hear. People study the people who hate me, but why on earth are they so obsessed with me? Out of all the things I've said and done, what is it that triggered them that they want to fucking hurt me and my family and weird shit? It's just fucking bizarre, and it's out of hand, right? Um... And that's the thing, like, the whole idea of entertaining the hate against me, like, let's have people come on camera and talk about the hate and why they hate me and why I don't know the years that's more that, that, that they don't really like me, right? But then, at the end of the day, analyze it from perspective of what is really going on here that, you know, that, that you got the level of meaning, right? I think that would have been incredible. And, uh, and again, there were some other fun things we were going to do, some ideas we had that obviously, you know, we're not doing now, at this point anyway, uh, that I think collapse. people would have really liked with this documentary. Again, different perspectives. They were going to be there from my past, they were going to talk about me and their interactions in the past that you've never seen before. Like, that was going to be some of the appeal. 
You can only go so far with the same exact information. And right now, literally for four to five years, people have just been using the same exact information to hate on me, right? So now it's the point where it's like, what well, something new has to happen to be interesting, but it's not. It's just stagnant. Five years of bullshit, the same shit. So the whole point of the documentary was, yeah, outline that, but show other things that aren't things that people know or perhaps would be a different take, right? You lost quite a bit of that because the audio was too loud. Well, sorry about that. I forgot that the game audio gets no super loud in these parts. Trauma. Break through the barriers of self-deceit, temperamentic behavior. So anyway, Big Boss has done another super chat. He says, honestly, just off of what you're describing, the documentary sounds incredible and your unique take and perspective you don't often see or get. Right. What you end up seeing nine times out of ten with these documentaries about me is just reiterating the same shit. The same controversies. The same negative memes. The same shit. And there's nothing new. It's just, here's my take on it. Blah, blah, blah. It's like, who cares, though? We've heard the same shit a million times. There hasn't been a new development in five years. Let's be honest. There hasn't. In my story, it's been the same repeatable shit for five years. Basically, ever since the bankruptcy. When that happened, that's that's where it ends. Because it's the bankruptcy, finances, mobile games, blah, blah. It's all the same. Nothing's changed. Because I'm not doing anything to cause any drama I'm literally staying in my lane and just playing games, so there's nothing else to add to the drama they're trying to create. So what they do is they just go in circles now with the same bullshit over and over. It gets so tiring. It's just exhausting with the level of shit that they just keep repeating. It's getting rough out there. So now there's no way to get through any of this. I think we're gonna eventually All go to the for a great streaming week. Indeed, it was a great streaming week. I had a lot of fun. With the variety of stuff we did this week, no RPGs whatsoever. I guess you can argue, oh, Elden Ring is an RPG. But I think you know the point I'm making here is that not doing insanely long RPGs made this week a lot more fun and successful. It really did. Um, so I want to say thanks to everyone here who hung out with me this week. Now, first of all, I'm not here tomorrow, but the content continues. There's going to be another part of DSP versus the Internet on my DSP Reacts channel. There's going to be ongoing parts alternating between Final Fantasy 13 and Fallout 3 over on my DSP throwback channel. Okay, so content will still come out even though I'm not going to be here. When I return on Friday, <clears throat> it's going to be more Helldivers 2 on the day stream. And Street Fighter 6 Friday Night Fights E-Honda this time on the late night stream. Okay, if you're wondering... Well, when is that co-op you're doing with your wife? That's Saturday night. We're starting Beyond Two Souls here on the channel. Uh, that's going to be fun co-op. If you're wondering, well, wait a minute. What about more Alone in the Dark? Uh, that's going to be <clears throat> Monday night. Why? Because Saturday night we're doing that Beyond Two Souls co-op. And then, of course, Sunday's React Day. Okay? Also, if you liked Elden Ring earlier today, Elden Ring continues on the day stream on Saturday. And we're getting great progress in Elden Ring as well. So, Okay? <clears throat> Great stuff. Everyone, thank you so much. Have a good evening. I thank you all for relaxing, hanging out, supporting me this week. Great birthday of celebration we had. And I'm looking forward to another fun week when I get back on Friday. Everyone, Also, one final thing. I'll be watching the Fallout TV series with my wife over the next several nights. And if it's good, I'll, I'll be reviewing it. If it's bad, I'll probably still review it <laughs> on DSP React. So keep your eyes peeled for that as well. Okay? Thank you all. Please have a good evening. I hope to see you all on the other end of it on Friday. But in the meantime, be safe and have fun. See you Friday. Peace out, everybody.